Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason and today I'm answering the question that is on every e-drummer's minds. What happens if you put an acoustic coated snare head on your electronic drums? All right, so I'm sure you've seen this with other videos for uh, people who've been taking the heads off the Alesis drums. Make sure you do it on a flat surface. Reason being, you can see in the video there that the mounting hardware is not attached. It's just connecting the two hoops together. So if you've ever had a free floating snare, uh, I used to have a, a really nice pearl free floating brass piccolo. Um, there's no, the, the mounting hardware is not screwed into the, uh, uh, into the shell. Um, which is actually pretty cool because if you decide to customize your Lisa Strike Pro kit, it's just a matter of taking the electronics off and uh, um, putting wrap over top of it, which uh, I'm going to try later on. I used to work in a drum manufacturing shop for a TRS Custom Drums quite a, a while ago, and we used to do custom finishes and wraps and stuff like that. So I may end up trying to customize my kit as well. But it's pretty easy. I mean, it's just like changing a snare head on a regular drum. So um, just uh, tighten it to your liking and let's get to the tests and see how loud these things are. So here's a quick bounce comparison. So I'm showing the mesh head now, and then I'm going to show the bounce on the uh, the coated drum head, and then I'm going to do a split screen so you can see them both side by side. But the initial bounce back, obviously, it's a lot less on the coated head than it is on the mesh head as well, and that's really what gives you, um, you know, obviously the real feel of an uh, acoustic set. So it feels does feel a lot better when when you're playing. All right, so maybe it's not a question that's on every e-drummer's mind, but I was in the music store returning a rental and thought, eh, what the heck, let's test this out and see how it goes. Because I've always just been curious, not so much about the um, is it going to work or not, because e-drums, especially ones like the Elisa set where it's real sized uh, drums and wood shells, uh, any drum head is gonna fit on them more or less. And I know they were gonna be louder, um, but I was mostly interested in the trigger response. So given that the, the coated heads are a lot thicker than the single ply mesh heads that come with the Strike Pro kit, would it affect the triggering? And it does around the, the edges a little bit, um, but most importantly, it's so loud, it's triggering a lot of crosstalk with, uh, with all of the pads that are nearby. So even though the snare, it's on a snare stand and it's not touching the rack, so there's no kind of risk of vibration there. Plus, it's under a carpet, my snare stand, um, but it's so loud, it's triggering the 8 and the 10 inch toms that are uh, right near it as well. So hope you enjoyed this quick test, and uh, I'm going to test out the Drum Tech Real Feel Mesh heads as well once I can get my hands on some so they're kind of back ordered but um, you know you make sacrifices with e-drums people will say things like well you know they're they feel just like real drums they don't they never will unless you're using regular um, heads so when I did this test yeah the snare felt a lot better but even with headphones on man I could just hear the the um, the snare being hit over top of the triggering in the headphones even with the volume you know almost maxed out 
Um, and it's basically as loud as it would be if you were playing a regular piccolo without the, um, uh, the snare trap being set. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the test. And uh, if you're curious, no need to waste 20 bucks on a drum head because now I got to figure out what to do with this thing because I don't really need it anymore. Uh, but uh, like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you tried any other uh, drum heads for your electronic drums.